In this video, I will show you a very simple hack to create consistent looking human characters in Stable Diffusion. You don't need to train your own Dream Booth model or use Lora. It's a very simple hack. So let's get started. So for this purpose, you can use any Stable Diffusion model and platforms such as Automatic 11.11, Invoke AI, Playground AI, or in this case, I'm using Leonardo.ai. I prefer Leonardo or Automatic 11.11 because here you have the same models, uh, but you don't need any local installation. And since it's a web UI, so it's a lot easier to use. If you are new to Leonardo.ai, it's a tool that helps you create images using text. And it's very similar uh, to Red Journey, but here you have multiple models that you can choose from and create images with those. Similar to Mid Journey, you can see a community feed where uh, people are posting their creations. Before showing you the trick how to create consistent models, let me give you a quick overview. Leonardo AI gives you 150 fast generations per day. It's much better than Mid Journey, which is just 25 generations for their free tier. And right now it's not available. Next, you have the ability to upload your own training data and actually train your own models. And then there are community models available, which people have fine-tuned as well. So you can potentially use them as well. So now let's look at how you can create consistent human characters. So first, select any one of these models. So let's say I'm going to select Deliberate 1.1. If you run a simple prompt like this, a photo of a woman smiling, looking at the camera, multiple times you will get different images for example in this case we have this image i run it again so it seems to be a completely different person these look very different people because we are not fixating the name of our character but we can actually use this uh, to create very consistent characters the technique i'm about to show you uses the unique name of your character as uh, an anchor in the latent space to explain this concept, let's look at this simple prop. A photo of Emma Watson, and then we define the camera uh, that we want to use for photo generation, right? We have a negative prompt, and we are using the deliber deliberate model. So if you simply click generate, it will generate an uh, image of Emma Watson, hopefully. So it generated a photo of Emma Watson, although it's a little bit distorted, but you can improve the prompt to uh, remove these distortions. Now, we can use a similar concept uh, for generating our own images. So what you want is, you want to have a very unique name of your character. And to get unique names, we're going to be using this website, Random Name Generator. So here you have an option of different countries and ethnicities, and then based on the parameters that you select, uh, it will generate different names for you. What I usually like to do is to select two, so that way it's going to be a mix of it and the name is going to be very unique. So let's say French and let's say Serbian and let's say we want to generate five different names. So click generate a name and these are different names that it came up with. All right, so let's select the first name. So I'll go back to Leonardo.ai and replace Emma Watson with this name. And let's change the prompt a little bit. So looking at the camera. And then you can simply, uh, I'm going to say generate two images. Click generate. What it's generating, you can actually look at some other parameters. For example, you can define the size of the image, um, the height and width, the aspect ratio, the guidance, and if you want to use image to image. And you can also define the seed that you want to use. Okay, so the generation is complete. We have two images and they are, the facial structure looks pretty similar, right? Like definitely the hairstyle is a little different, but overall the facial structure is uh, similar. Let's say if I want to uh, modify our prompt, we will say, let's say smiling, right? And looking at the camera. So uh, just keep in mind that I'm not using a fixed seat. Now, if you compare these two images, there are definitely similarities. So one thing is, if you want to have uh, like a unique look, you need to select very unique names. So for example, I had a lot more success with this image. So there are like different variations of the same face, which looks very similar, right? So like this one, this one, then holding the flowers, smiling and looking at the camera uh, as a painting. And right? so I think this, this look uh, pretty reasonably good. And here's another example. So smiling, looking at the camera, 
and then holding flowers okay let's experiment with the, another name before looking at a different model so i'm going to replace this with this new name and let's see what it comes up with so here's the picture of uh, Vedrona, uh, simply smiling and looking at the camera and the same person or character as a queen they definitely look uh, images of the same person so it's pretty neat so let's look at a couple of male uh, characters I'm going to select a Danish and it's a German okay then masculine click all right uh christopher i think is a pretty common name so i'm not gonna use this uh probably this okay so in this case i will simply replace the name and then looking at the camera uh click generate i i uh, actually had to change the name because for uh title it actually produced a female uh image so I think, and the other change was I added 30 years old. So uh, here, look, it give me a picture of a child. So I just want to have a picture of a man. Okay, first let's uh, modify this to smiling. Uh, okay, let's run this. All right, so here are the results. Uh, it's not really a uh, smiling face, but uh, still it's very consistent with uh, what we had before. Uh, especially this image and the one here so I think they definitely look the same image now one thing to keep in mind as I said before I'm using very simple prompt right and making small tweaks uh, if you want to really control it you can actually add a lot more details in your prompts now lastly I want to show you that this technique actually works with other models as well so here for example instead of this uh, deliberate 1.1 we can select uh, let's say the Leonardo diffusion model right and let's try to generate uh, an image with the same prompt now in this case the image probably is going to look different right because the model is completely different and we are not uh, setting the seed to the same right uh, but if we use the same name uh, for different model so for that specific model, it should give us very similar characters. So for example, here's the image, okay? Now, Leonardo Diffusion model thinks that uh, Helmar, which is the uh, name of the character, should look uh, something like this. Okay, let's uh, make him superhero. All right, let's see what it comes up with. All right, so the first row actually shows uh, different images that were created by the um, Leonardo diffusion model. So, for example, this is a close up uh, of superhero, right? Another close up. This the image looks a little different, but if you compare it with this one, uh, simple hero, or superhero, and then they came smiling, although the keys aren't really smiling with the faces there. Uh, so they look pretty similar. So, I'll put a link to this post on which it is based. Uh, go away, it, it's pretty helpful. Just to summarize, the trick is to use very unique names for your characters uh, and that way you will get consistent characters. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.